I've got five after, uh, so why don't we begin and open up the meeting. Uh, the only two items we have on the agenda are review the volunteers and an executive session to make the, that decision. Is there any additions or changes to the agenda as presented? Um, sorry. Go ahead, um, Kyle. Brian, when were we going to start doing um, beautification committee, um, the beautification committee resignation? Uh, I've got that scheduled for our uh, regular board meeting. Okay. Okay. Then we don't have to do that tonight. Thank you. It's on our, our draft agenda for that. Okay. Perfect. Is and is there any changes or additions to the agenda as presented? If not, okay. I uh, want to thank the candidates that are here tonight. Uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to provide an opportunity for each of you to introduce yourself to the board and give you two or three minutes to just uh, explain why you think you would be a, a good candidate for this committee. Um, then we'll open it up to the board to ask any questions of individual candidates or all candidates. And then we will go into executive session to uh, select our candidate, uh, the members of the committee that the town is gonna put forward. For those of you who, I think everybody's probably familiar with it. This is a committee that's formed by both the village trustees and the town select board. We're each putting forward three committee members and uh, we've laid out a mission statement and, uh, and what, what the committee membership would look like. So, Mr. Chairman? Yes, Mike. What, what is the complete list of all those who are interested? Well, we'll let Brian go down through it. Uh, so Brian, why don't you open up the mics individually and go by alphabetical order and we'll ask all of the candidates uh, to take two or three minutes, introduce themselves and to share why they believe they would be uh, a good candidate for the, the committee right. and go by alphabetical order. Um, would you mind, would there be any objection if instead of alphabetical order, I go by uh, the order, I think it's gonna be the order that you logged in on. Okay, uh, if that's easier for you. Not everybody's screen name is gonna match up with their given name and uh, yeah, I, I think it'll also help me keep organized because I've got a nice list of everybody in order uh, on the screen right now. And then when you get to the end, would you just uh, name the names of the candidates who it appears are not here tonight? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so with that, Cal, I've got you up first. Uh, so if you can unmute yourself. How's that? That's good. We can hear you. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Um, well, I, I don't, you know, do you guys want me to give you my resume or I, <laughs> I think most of all, um, you know, I'm already, I'm already doing this work. Um, uh, you know, I think, you know, for all of us, this is an experiment. Um, you know, uh, anyone who's been involved in the, in the past meetings here, you know, so I think I'm willing to give it a try. And uh, I think what you can get from me is uh, an authentic nature, I guess. Um, you know, and certainly, uh, you know, I, I, if anything, um, qualifications wise, I, I think at least uh, I know where to look. <laughs> I won't claim to be the most knowledgeable on any, any particular subject, uh, you know, racial justice or any, um, but I'm certainly not beyond seeking out. And I think if this is gonna be an educational piece, which I think we've talked about uh, in the town, um, you know, that, uh, you know, I, I think um, I'd like to be part of that. Um, you know, 
to me, you know, obviously it remains to be seen, you know, how it's going to work, who's going to be part of this. I think, you know, the group that you all pick, is, it's important that they have good chemistry and that everyone's agenda is on track with social justice, uh, racial justice, all of it. And, um, you know, and just be, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, we have to be wary of people who have different agendas. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I don't think this is a chance to resume build for people. Um, I think this is a chance to do good work and, uh, you know, it remains to be seen uh, the chemistry of the group you pick, but uh, I'm certainly willing and uh, to check it out. And, uh, try the grand experiment. I think it's uh, much needed. Obviously, you know, there's much work to be done and I can do that in other other sectors, I guess, or other uh, other ways, you know, but this, uh, you know, since I was part of this discussion from the beginning, I certainly would be willing to see it through, I guess. And I appreciate all of your patience with all this, everyone. So uh, beyond that, I'm open to any, any questions that folks have, I guess. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Cal. Brian, who's Cal, the next one? So we'll, you know, we'll, have, we'll circle back for questions. So thank you very much. And next up, I've got uh, Eric Hutchins. Yeah, uh, hey everybody. Um, so I, I think I know a lot of the people here and uh, I'm a social studies teacher at Lamont Union High School. Um, I was born and raised in Montpelier, Vermont, and got my degree at UVM. Uh, before moving to Johnson, I, I lived in New York City, where I, I taught in East Brooklyn, in the South Bronx, for about 12 years before relocating my family here. Um, uh, as a history teacher, you know, I know that systemic racism is a real thing uh, that we need to address in our society. Uh, through my work in education, I've tried to um, advance this work and have organized, uh, you know, educational opportunities, both for staff and students at our school. Um, and, you know, and I've dealt with dealing with this, with racial justice issues with, with the, the children of our community, you know, for, for many years. And so I'm, I'm pretty aware of the wide variety of perspectives on these issues and, and ways to constructively address everybody's perspectives. Um, I, I think, um, you know, one of the thing, one of the reasons I threw my hat in the ring here is like I was concerned that there wouldn't be people who were willing to do this because I've read some of the newspaper headlines and I I was afraid that there were people who would be turned off from in you know getting into this controversial arena and I wanted to make sure I was available. I, I see a lot of really qualified people. I know a lot of the folks in this thing, so I'm no longer concerned about that. I'm not applying for this. Like I'm going to tell you what, what what I know and what my experience is, and, and you guys judge it, but I, I don't see myself as being any more qualified than anybody else here. Um, I, I think that uh, um, one of the things we have to, to do in, in Johnson is, to, is to, to build some consensus around this work and that this is gonna be good for everybody in our community. Um, I think that's super important at the same time uh, in a democracy, we're not going to convince every single person this is a great idea, and we don't need to. Uh, this is, I think, a lot of the things that I've seen our community wanting to do are good, and we should move forward with them. You know, it's particularly, you know, I think racial justice and social justice is a, is a moral imperative for us to show an example for our children and to set an example in our community to, to do the right thing. But it's also, you know, in these, you know, trying economic times in rural Vermont, it, you know, it, there's a common good here. Like, I don't know why in rural Vermont, you wouldn't want to hold a bright neon sign or a flag or many flags that say that your town is open and welcoming of people from all walks of life and all beliefs and, and all sexual orientations, people of color, uh, you know, everything. I, I it just, that boggles the mind that you wouldn't want to, that you wouldn't want to do that. Um, but also, I think that, you know, I see a lot in the language around this committee was about, you know, educational opportunities, which I think is, is very important to provide educational opportunities for our community and for adults in our community. That's really only uh, the first step. I, if we're not doing things to actually incentivize people of color to want to visit, come to school, be tourists, open businesses and move to our community, then we're, that's only part of the battle, right? Because one of the problems, you know, 
we have with dealing with racial justice and social justice in Vermont is, you know, we're the whitest if we're the second whitest state in the, in the union. And that, that, that makes it automatically an uphill battle to, to, to do this. And so if we're not actively incentivizing people to want to visit our community, then, then, then we're not going to make progress. So I think that's very important. I think, you know, analogously, you know, Vermont is seen as a very friendly place for LGBTQ people, right? Because of the civil union laws and things like that. And that has been not just good for our, the cultural diversity of our state and that many uh, gay families have wanted to move to the state, have wanted to be tourists in the state, have wanted to get married in the state. But, uh, but, but that's, been, that's, been, that's been good for our economy. That's been good for our culture, right? And so I think analogously, we need to do the same thing to, to attract people, um, people of color to our state, to our community, uh, and that doing that loud and clear, and then also doing the educational outreach to, to build a consensus in our community around that. I think there's something for everybody in this. Um, that said, of course, we're not going to we're not going to convince every last person. But this is a democratic organization, and we can vote for things and do things for our community. So, thank, thank you, for your you time. Eric. Yeah. Uh, next, next one, Brian. All right. Next up, I've got Jackie, and then after Jackie, I've got uh, Brian. Okay, Jackie, go ahead. Thanks, Brian. Hey, everybody. It's good to be with you. Um, I, I would welcome the opportunity to be on this committee. I think it's a great idea. Um, I, I'd welcome the opportunity because, because I love this place. I love, I love Johnson. This is my home. This is my community. I came here when I was a teenager, 1983, and I, I stayed here, and I, I've raised my family here. It's a great place to be. Um, I think that we're in a decent place to have uh, a committee like this. I think that we've done some of the preliminary work over the past few years. It has been rocky and difficult, um, but we, we stayed the course and so here we are. And so this really is a success. Thank you to everybody. Uh, you know, regardless of whether I get appointed to this committee or not, I will continue this work and I will help and I will support in an authentic way. I don't pretend to be an expert, uh, but I am committed. And, um, and I, hope, I hope that's true for everybody because that's what will make this thing successful is if we all stick together and we support whether we're appointed or not and we, and we stay this course um, because that's where, uh, that's where all this work began. It began with uh, the everyday people of this town the citizenry, it began with grassroots and it has flourished. And um, I mean, we all saw that happen, right? When the, when the college was threatened to be shut down, right? By Jeb Spaulding and the governor and the rest of the trustees, if not for the people um, gathering together, demonstrating, organizing, working hard, that the college would be closed right now. Um, so, so that's what we need to do, regardless of whether we're on this committee or not. We need to keep going and we need to support each other and listen and learn. Um, what else? I don't know, I got two minutes. Uh, you know, um, I'm not a, a, a Jackie come lately to community service in this town. You, you guys all know me, you, you, you've seen me. You've seen me for years at Tuesday Night Live or as a library trustee or founding the Johnson PTA or Conservation Commission, blah, blah, blah. Everybody's helped. That's what makes this town great. There's so many of us that care about each other and care about this place and we wanna make it better. And it's a great town, but we're not exceptional in our, in our greatness and we're not exceptional in our, in our racism, which absolutely does exist. And there's no shame in saying that, there's strength in saying that. There's strength in having this conversation and moving forward making this better. Um, like Eric said, there's just so many benefits. Uh, we, will all, we will all come out the better for this work. And so thanks to everybody for being here and uh, even proposing this uh, grand experiment as, as Cal called it. Thanks. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. All right, next up, I've got Brian. And after Brian, I've got Mark. Hey, guys. Um, Sorry about that. I had to run off while you were speaking, Jackie. My dog had a tick right on her head, and I didn't want to let it get away. 
I didn't mean to be rude. Um, so I, I was at the beginning of this conversation as a village trustee and I've moved out of the village and um, this is when this whole idea for this committee came to be. Uh, I regretfully now voted to have three and three and it seems like we needed much more for the town. Um, I've learned a lot in this transfer, looking, watching the village meeting last night as a town resident. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's a lot I wish I had done when I could have, um, but I didn't. And so I, trying not to let that get away from me now, would like to stay involved. Uh, I, I'm really happy to see so many far more qualified people here at this meeting than myself, um, not to, but like I said, this is something I feel passionately about which is why I joined this meeting to and put my name in the hat to be one at the table. Um, I own a business here in Johnson and I do a lot of business with people of all walks of life. Um, you know, I was in Charlotte today. I work anywhere from Ferrisburg to the Northeast Kingdom. Uh, I see a lot of people going to a lot of people's houses in their bedrooms, bathrooms, everything. And I get to have a lot of conversations across the street or across the state rather. And uh, it's really comforting. I have a business partner and we sit on two very far sides of the political table and this is not a political issue. And we've been able to have those conversations and realize that what we're talking about here and how we've come to these conversations and there's a lot of growth in them. And sometimes it's, um, you know, they, they bring us to weird places where we'll be like putting ridge cap on a roof or something and talking about social justice issues. And I think that, uh, you know, for me, it's really nice that I can bring that to an industry that is uh, sometimes pretty curmudgeon -y. you know, working on a roof really brings out the worst of you. Not that we do a lot of that, but um, it, it certainly can. And so, yeah, I guess what I, I, I'm just, I'm committed to this cause and I definitely am not the most knowledgeable in the history and, you know, I don't have a wealth of what to bring, but I do have a backbone and I do have a good sense of what I feel is right and uh, been working on listening. You know, that's something I'm actively trying to do going into my 30s. It's, you know, it's trying to get better at that. And, uh, and I think that's important. And um, yeah, I don't want to take up too much time. I know a lot of people here uh, saw me at some of the trustee meetings and I'm not very proud of those meetings. Um, a lot of them, I was sort of caught off guard so much as to couldn't respond as well as I wish I should have or could have at the time. But regardless, uh, my wife and I are staying in Johnson. You know, we're not going anywhere probably ever. So you're stuck with us and we will be in this town and we will be committed to it. And um, this is one way that I'd like to stay in the conversation. Um, and either way, I'll be watching your meetings if they're on here. So thanks. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. And Mark, and then after Mark, I've got Margo. I guess this is in alphabetical order. <laughs> Took me too long to figure that out. But. Thank you, Mark. Go ahead. Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Mark Nielsen. I've been a resident here in Johnson for over 20 years. I attended Johnson State when it was then called that. Um, actually got quite an education up there. Um, why I think I'd be a great fit for this team, number one, um, I can work with nearly anyone, and I hope they learn as much from me as I learn from them in this process. Um, you'll find that I um, have some rather conservative values towards the whole process, but that's okay. Um, I'm rather, when I first heard about this, I guess you'd call me not one of the founding um, folks in town on this topic, but once I heard about it, I really wanted to become involved in it. Um, I've written um, several papers on the issue through my college days. Um, I have daughters and a wife and granddaughters. So socially, I have some real issues with the whole, with some of those whole points. Um, I'm looking at this approach as a two-pronged approach, one short-term and one a longer term. Short-term, getting the word out, getting people to work together within the town to understand the issues that we have here and to be able to solve them short-term. And as some of you know, I know Eric Hutchins does, I'm on the school board um, and we do curriculum pieces and we're going over some of those parts now. Um, with that piece, I would like to be part of the conduit that moves information from the town um, up to the school board. Um, we've got a team up there right now, which I'm sure Eric is aware of. Um, he's probably working with it. 
with a bunch of a number of students that are obviously a fraction of my age um, coming up with ways that they can bring this topic to the table and get information out. So as we do that, we're also looking at curriculum changes. Um, I think it's a really great idea to be involved in something like this so you can make a systemic change that would affect generations to come. If you have it in the schools and we're teaching and we're doing pieces the right way, um, that can happen. So um, just because I have a rather conservative background um, does not mean at all that I'm not, um, that I'm going to bring that totally to the table, but I want to understand the, um, the other side of the story. In my um, paper that I wrote, my letter of interest, I have this weird fascination. I actually really like the show, um, Gay USA TV. They have some extremely smart people on there, and I learn stuff from that every week. So that's why I think I would fit rather well in the committee, and um, I look on both sides of the fence to see what's going on, and um, then we go from there. So thank you for your time, and thank you for considering it. Thank you, Mark. Okay, Mark, thank you. And Margo, uh, if you can unmute yourself. And then I've got uh, Portia up next. Hey, y'all. Can you hear me? Yes, Margo, we can. Uh, hi, Eric. Uh, so my name is Margo Warden, and um, I've been a part of this community, my family and I, for over 30 years. And the reason I think that I'm throwing my hat into the ring and uh, expressing this interest is uh, echoing the men, everybody who went ahead of me. And I'd say, you know, starting with just loving this town, uh, loving my family, and wanting sort of the best for both. Uh, my experience, you know, I've lived in the town for 30 years, I've worked at the college for 30 years. And, um, you know, within that, that framework of work, um, particularly in the area of first year experience. Um, we've created over the last decade, I would say what the college would say is like the center for diversity and inclusivity programming on campus through classes and book groups and um, events. And through all of those, I'd say probably the most challenging, but also the most rewarding is bringing the entire you know, uh, group of students, over 200 students and faculty and staff in small groups in conversation around these very issues, you know, that we're struggling with right now as a community um, and as a nation. And we start with, you know, before we jump into the issues or the book um, or the concepts is like, how do we, how are we gonna frame this conversation? What are the touchstones? And how, what are the agreements that we can have knowing that this is going to be a complicated conversation, that it's going to be uh, perhaps difficult, but how can we express ourselves um, so that other people can listen and how can we welcome what's being shared um, and doing our best uh, not to judge and to just um, listen and learn. So I think that's something that uh, with this committee, whatever, you know, how it's going to look like, I think that's an important piece of uh, doing a lot of that foundational work um, really uh, so we have a clear understanding, we have some clear commitments and we start building relationships within this small group so then we can you know, expand it, um, make it larger and to bring the whole town in. So you know, that's my work um, at the college, but I guess I gotta tell you like the older I get, the more I know that I just don't know, right? So um, I'm, I've learned and it wasn't a, it didn't take a long time for me to know that I really had to bring some humil humility you know, to my work on this. So I'm committed to uh, continuing to learn um, and continuing to engage, right? And uh, continuing like to increase my, my awareness and my education. And again, I think that this is a part, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, a goal for the group about just uh, sort of awareness, um, education and community. Um, so I think that's pretty much in a nutty nutshell, you know, um, thank you to all the speakers who went before me. Just like I was just sitting here, couldn't hear me, I was muted, just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I think there's some good stuff that's out there right now. And um, I'm psyched that this committee uh, is getting started. Uh, it is well past time. Thank you, Margo. Bam. Thank you. And who is next? I've got uh, Portia up next. Portia. 
you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Can I make sure I'm saying your name correctly? Yes, Portia. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm Portia Foss. Um, I have been a Vermont resident about 14 years now. Uh, Johnson resident about 12. Um, I was born and raised in Southern California. Um, I'm married for about almost 10 years now, and we have two little girls. Um, I haven't been very active in as far as, um, I guess, in, in, John, in like town stuff or anything like that. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and as far as my experience um, or expertise, I would say there's little to none. But what I do bring to the table is that I'm very passionate about this subject. I'm very passionate about human rights. I'm passionate about um, justice and what's right. Um, and I just, when I saw that there was a racial committee being put together, first off, I was like, wow, that's, that's great. But secondly, I was like, um, I think I really want to be a part of that. I want to bring awareness. I want to use my voice and speak out. Um, I'm a woman of color, obviously, as you can see, but my husband is white. My husband's Caucasian, so our children are biracial. And growing up in California, um, it's very diverse. Where we lived, it was always very diverse communities. Uh, my family in itself were very mixed as well. Um, and so I grew up in a very... Um, a diverse world. And so for me, I feel like I bring to the table a very um, wide range perspective in that I can see from, from all points um, and a, a pretty unbiased, I feel anyways. Um, but um, I mean, that's, that's all I can, I can really think of. I just, I'm very passionate about this subject and I feel like I could bring um, a lot to the table if given the chance, and I would love to be a part of this. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Thank, Thank you, you, Portia. Thank you. And we've got a caller in who I'm not sure. Uh, I'm skipping over a couple folks that I, I understand them to not be applying. Uh, Rick was appointed by the village. Uh, Rosemary is our town clerk, and Scott and Kim, um, I don't believe that you're applying, I believe you're just observing, so uh, we'll give you an opportunity to circle back, but uh, our call-in number, uh, if you can unmute yourself, it's star six to unmute. And I don't know if maybe we're having a little bit of trouble getting through or not, but. Um, okay, if we'll have the caller key. Oh, okay, there they are. Go well, ahead. Brian, hi, phone warden. I just am dialing in on my way home from work and just observing. Okay. Thank you, though. Thanks. Thank you, Paul. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candidates. Were there others that had applied? You said Rick applied, but he's been chosen as a village. Yep. So let me do a quick look at the list. Portia, uh, Barry Gladstone had applied and I haven't heard anything from her. Okay. And doesn't appear to be here tonight. Um, D. Lahuyer had applied, or sorry, sorry not D, uh, Lynn Lahuyer uh, had applied and I haven't, does not appear to be here tonight and I don't, <clears throat> haven't heard from her. And Norca Cham Chamorro, uh, had applied and I don't see her tonight. Um, and Offy had applied and I don't see him tonight either. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
thank you all for those introductions and sharing with us some of the reasons you think you'd be a good candidate. At this time, we'll open it up to the board members who want to ask an individual question or uh, a question for the slate. Uh, beware of the, the amount of time if you go for a slate question, but and please in your answers, uh, you know, try to keep it under a minute or two. So I'll open it up to board members. Kyle. Okay, thank you. Um, I guess this is this is for the slate, and it's kind of quick. Um, I I just wanted to ask everyone here if they're familiar with our town and and village inclusivity statement and our town's anti-racism statement. And um, if so, if you stand with them. Okay, uh, Brian, once you go down yeah. through the same order as before. Okay, Cal? Yes, I support uh, inclusivity statement uh, 100%. All right, Eric? Uh, yeah, and I, I, I spoke in favor of it at the town meeting where it was ratified as well. Jackie? Absolutely, yes to both. Brian? Yes. Mark? Yes to both, and I'd like to see them both come to life, actually. Good. Uh, Margo, you're going to have to unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, yes to both. And I particularly am in favor of the word reject. Okay. <laughs> and Portia. Yes, wholeheartedly. Thank you. And I believe I got everybody there. Great. Thank you very much. Any other board members? Don't be shy. Is the board prepared to go to executive session to select the three community me committee members? Jackie has a comment, but let me leave this to the board for right now. Yes, Eric, I'm ready. Okay. Yes. Uh, if you don't mind, Brian, open up Jackie's mic if she had a question. Okay. Thank you, Eric. I do have a question. Uh, because this is a, a joint committee between the town and the village, I, 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 don't, I don't recall one in the past, maybe there has been one. Um, when, when this committee comes up with recommendations, um, do those recommendations need to be passed like unanimously or, or just by, or just they need to be passed through both boards and in order for something to move forward? How, how does this work with the joint? I guess the way I would see it is depending on what it is coming out of the committee, it might be something that requires both town and village approval for something jointly being done, or it could be something that maybe is only going to be done that affects the town or and or just the village. And so it might only be required to go to the village. But the whole committee would come out with that recommendation. Thank you. Good question. Okay, um, certainly want to thank all of you for submitting your names. Um, it's it's obvious that uh, we got some good candidates here tonight, and it's going to be a difficult choice for the select board. I would uh, anticipate the select board will make a decision tonight, and will select the three can uh, committee members. And we will notify everyone that they were or were not selected. But thank you anyhow for applying. And uh, we do appreciate the interest. Uh, so we, we do have a comment from Rick before we go into executive session. Rick Upperly? Yes. OK, if it's quick. OK, go ahead, Rick. 
Hi, yes, it will be quick. Um, yes, I was appointed and yes, I withdrew from the town uh, very briefly. I uh, also would like to see uh, some consistency uh, on both boards. I think the, uh, the whereas resolution, I, I think it does say town of Johnson and village of Johnson. So I haven't really gotten any specifics as far as uh, the language, but uh, uh, I'm, I would like to see that the town and the village be congruent on this and that we also uh, do like we did with the inclusivity statement that uh, we make it a, a, a proud statement about our town and about the unity within our community. And that's it for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Rick. At this time, I would entertain a motion to enter into executive session for appointment of committee members. I move that we go into executive session to deliberate on appointment of public uh, committee members as allowed by 1 VSA 313A3. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and second. Any more discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? And show us in executive session at 741. Thank you all for taking your time out tonight. Okay. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to turn on the waiting room again. I'll place you in the waiting room. You can uh, wait for a decision tonight, or you can, uh, we'll be in, in touch. Uh, I believe I've, I've got everybody's emails. Uh, so we'll be in touch uh, by email after we've made the appointments regardless. So wait to hear in person or, or uh, wait for an email either way. Uh, but I'm gonna turn on the waiting room, place everybody there, and then we'll, we'll start executive session. So thank you. Thanks everybody for your time tonight. Thank you. everybody's back in that is still there yes okay the board has reached a decision i would at this time entertain a motion for the three candidates for the committee move we appoint uh eric hutchins mark nielsen and portia fox portia we have a motion do we have a second? I will second. The motion is second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Congratulations and thank you all for applying that uh, we're not selected. Is there any other business before this board? Oh, we do have to go back into the deliberations on the dog hearing. dog hearing. If there's no further business for this select board, I will meeting, I'll call it adjourned. And now we'll be back into our deliberation on the dog hearing. Uh, we do have a comment from Rick. Okay, uh, go ahead, Rick. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, board. Um, Quick question, though. There was a discussion at the last select board meeting about possible altern alternates. Uh, the trust village trustees uh, were not able to even field the three candidates. They got two out of three. And I don't know if they're in the next round going to consider alternates, but they did. I did mention that it was spoken of at the last select board meeting. And just wondering as um, active and engaged participant here. Uh, curious as uh, the board's uh, uh, ideas or thoughts about alternates. Yes, we did discuss that. Uh, we did opt not to, at this time, uh, select alternates. Uh, it's not really a practice we typically do for any standing committees within the town. So we did in consistency with everything else, opted not to. Okay, with that, let's show this meeting adjourn and
please put us back into a deliberation, Brian. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we're going into deliberations for the dog hearing, so it's another executive session, and uh, there won't be any action by the board when we come out of this one. So, uh, you know, you're welcome to wait, but there's not going to be anything to wait for. I right. like watching paint dry. Yeah. Well, do, you, do you want to tell them about our withdrawal? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, Margo Warden did withdraw her application. Uh, she thanks everybody for uh, listening and really enjoyed hearing everyone speak. Uh, but she is confident in uh, the remaining candidates to serve uh, in the best interest of the board. So from all of us also uh, on the select board, thank you for applying and uh, Thank you for the folks that were selected and will serve the town in the future. So, good night. All right, well, back to the waiting room. Oh, uh, sorry, Jackie has a question. Hey, Brian, so um, you and I and uh, Bor Yang and Kyle had been working on an educational piece. Will that be transferred to the new committee or where are we at with that? Uh, it'll depend a little bit on uh, where the trustees are. If they are making able to make their appointments and they're gonna move forward, it would be great to, uh, it would be great for me to be able to give this over to the committee for a little bit of action. If that's, doesn't look like it's going to happen soon. Um, I will work on that as soon as I can make time for it. Uh, okay. And move that ahead. Uh, if you want to assist with that, you and I can have a, a conversation kind of outside the meeting. Uh, and I would welcome some assistance on organizing, gathering the questions and preparing things for uh, sure. or to right. have the session. So, All right, great, thank you. Good night, yeah, everybody. I would really, much, really appreciate your help if if we can do that. Um, but yeah, it, it is also if the committee's up and running in short order, then uh, it could be a good first task for them. Sounds good. Thank you. So we'll, we'll talk more. All right. And, uh, Rick has a, a comment again. Okay, Hi. Rick. I'm hoping Jackie hasn't gotten off yet. Um, if she would, uh, I'd be willing to hear any uh, that uh, is part of the process. Again, I continuity and unity and transparency are uh, valuable assets to this uh, process going forward. So Brian, feel free to reach out to me as well. Um, I know your town and its village, but I think all this information is relevant uh, regardless. And I don't know about, uh, how to say it, but uh, uh, I'm a strong uh, believer in unity. So uh, willing to help in any way I can uh, yeah. with anybody who's willing, so. As soon as the committee is convened, this would definitely be in the committee's wheelhouse. This is just happening as a little bit of overlap, kind of it might happen before the committee is actually meeting or anything, but I'll, I'll loop you in Rick and everybody that the uh, that the town has appointed to the committee. Great. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you for the good work you're all doing. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.